Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Gadget Show Web TV. Now, if 18 months ago I'd suggested to you that South Korean company LG could be regarded as a style leader in highly sensitive areas of the electronics market like mobile phones, you'd have laughed me out of court and told me I was completely bonkers. They were the epitome of cheap and cheerful. If you wanted a stylish phone, you'd uh, go to Motorola and their latest Razer series. But LG becoming a style leader is exactly what's happened in that short space of time. It started with the Chocolate. This is the latest version of it here with its uh, touch-sensitive screen, the Chocolate 2. They then followed it up with a completely different concept, the Shine, with a screen that turns into a mirror, it seems. And in the most audacious move of all, they've teamed up with leading style house Prada and produced a Prada phone. Not only is it extremely stylish, it's also technically innovative. It has, several months ahead of the expected iPhone, a completely touch-sensitive screen. But are these products triumphs of style over substance, or are they really good underneath? To find out, I decided to spend a few days with LG's would-be icon, the Prada phone, to find out what was underneath that very sleek black exterior. And when I turned it on, I must admit, I was absolutely delighted with it. It uh, comes up with this lovely sort of explosion of Prada at you in very restrained black and white, and then immediately comes up with a rather nice floating clock. Actually, to make a phone call or anything like that, you've obviously got to press something, in this case the phone, and uh, you end up with a quite easy-to-use keyboard. The touch bit really does work, and it works also pretty well when you start going around the rest of the menu. Um, Get most things up there, writing messages, going into your contacts and so forth. In fact, the text messaging was probably the only bit of the touch screen that I wasn't terribly pleased with. I like the scrolling action and so forth, but uh, you just can't get quite as positive response on the keys as you like. I imagine if you really are a serial texter, you'd probably get pretty frustrated with it rather quickly. But that's probably the only problem. Also, if you're not happy with that restrained black and white display, you can quickly change it into something more colourful. There are floating butterflies and uh, swimming fish to keep you happy as well as alternatives. Um, it's also got an excellent FM radio, voice recorder, um, and you can send emails with it, for example. So, I mean, it does, it does most things that most people would want of a phone. In short, it is a phone that actually does deliver substance beneath its style. But now LG are looking to exploit the success of their chocolate and shine look to inject a bit of style to the rest of their range of products. For example, they've just launched a chocolate telly. And, indeed... This FM 37 music player, which sort of plays quite heavily on the idea of the touch screen. It sounds pretty good, has reasonable battery life, doesn't have an FM radio, unfortunately, in spite of its name, but I can't help feeling that that almost slavish addiction to touch screens slows the thing down rather too much. And um, maybe they'd been better off trying to give it a slightly bigger screen, given the fact that they've got all that size of case to play with unencumbered by knobs. What's remarkable is that by concentrating on design in products like this, they've managed to completely turn around the way people look at their company.